Hey everybody, this is Brian Rice with Brian Rice Creative, and I just want to do a follow-up video to my last one that I released a few days ago, where I was talking about which I was going to keep between the DJI Ronin SC gimbal and the Weeble S from uh, Zhiyun, and I finally came to a decision. It was a tough decision. Uh, you may recall if you watched the last video, which I will link in the description below, that I was very much a strong lean toward keeping the Ronin SC. Uh, and the major reason that I stated in that video why I really like it was uh, it just feels a lot more premium than the uh, Zhiyun uh, Weeble S. And while I still think that's true, uh, I finally got a chance to uh, take both of them. And actually I've used this one uh, in a live situation before where I was filming an artist and I think I played some B-roll in the previous video from that. And, but this past weekend, I finally got the opportunity to use both uh, filming a different band. And so, while Friday night didn't necessarily get me any closer to making that decision, it was last night, Saturday, and I'm filming this on Sunday, it was last night, uh, Saturday, that finally got me to that point where I was able to make a decision and feel good about it. And ultimately, uh, the spoiler alert, I decided that I'm going to keep the Weeble S. And I'm gonna explain that to you here shortly. Basically, while I enjoy filming uh, with this, uh, with the uh, Ronin SC, like I said, for all the reasons that I talked about before, um, what happened last night in particular was that uh, Friday night I was operating both simultaneously. I actually, I had my Nikon Z6 with the Tamron 2470 mounted on the Weeble S here. So I would have the nice wide shot uh, with this uh, gimbal and on he this one I uh, borrowed a friend's uh, GH5 with the Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 on the uh, Ronin SC here and they both worked great and I enjoyed both. However, last night I decided, you know, I, I had returned the uh, GH5 to my friend and so I was only really able to use one gimbal at a time because even though I'm supposed, you're supposedly able to balance the D850. I have a Nikon D850 and I have a Nikon Z6. And supposedly you're, you should be able to use a D850 on the Weeble S, but I have not been able to successfully balance it just yet. So that prompted me to be, to be limited to just one gimbal at a time. And last night I started out filming with uh, the Nikon 50 millimeter 1.4 G that I've got which worked great, footage looked great, everything was nice and smooth. Then I switched to my Nikon 85 millimeter 1.4 G, looked great, if a bit tight, in the footage that I was going for. And then finally, I switched to my 10 to 20 DX lens that's sort of a holdover from when I still had a crop sensor Nikon. That worked fine, but here's where I swung irrevocably to the Weeble S, and that is each time I switch lenses to use on this, I spent 20 minutes rebalancing this just so. For some reason, I mean, I, I felt like I got to a point where I was able to balance this really quick with no problems um, and use the app to balance, to auto tune and balance it. But for some reason last night, and maybe it was because it was in the middle of a show. Maybe I was in such a rush that I was skimping on balancing it just right. But the two times I switched lenses, it took me 20 minutes. Just judging by the timestamps on the video files I shot last night, it was 20 minutes each time. And granted, that could just be me being in a rush. Um, it's something that I could probably refine to the point where I have it down. Um, obviously, the... Uh, Mounting plate has that little metal piece that enables you to to know where to set it. But when you're switching lenses, that completely changes because the weight and the size of the lens change, you know, makes that part irrelevant. Anyway, 
that's the point when I realized that 20 minutes was way too long, especially in a situation where you are shooting something on the go and it's a live event. You just don't have time to be balancing and messing with that. And balancing on this takes a fraction of the time. And what's more, because I can shoot with the Tamron 24728 on here just fine, I don't really need to switch out lenses. So that takes out another variable because that covers the range that I like to shoot in when I'm filming video with a gimbal. And so that tilted it from being a strong lean to the, the Ronin SC to a strong lean about to tip over to the Weeble S. And then when I got home and reviewed the footage, there were a couple shots I got with this as far as some nice orbiting shots of the performers that looked fantastic. And I think one of the things that I mentioned in my previous video is that using the joystick on this is a lot easier to access. But what I realized was with the way I was shooting with this, I didn't need the joystick. I was able just to kind of move around like that. And I have the settings adjusted to a point where it's all just panning smoothly and seamlessly with very little of that sort of mechanical shift that I talked about in the previous video. So anyway, I think that about covers the reasons why I came around to keeping the Weeble S. I'm gonna return that one tomorrow. I think if you are operating a smaller dedicated mirrorless system without, uh, with like if I had, if I had Nikon S glass for the Z6, like the 2470, 4.0, I wouldn't be, have a problem if filming with the Ronin SC, but if I were to keep the Ronin SC, that would mean I would inevitably, most likely at some point, would have to buy that lens. Whereas if I just keep this one, I've already got that lens and a 2.8 at that. Switching out lenses and balancing this gimbal is light years faster and light years easier. And you can do it from within, um, the gimbal itself, you don't need the phone app to uh, auto-tune. Um, you don't need to take that extra step, which is another problem with balancing this. Once you get this balanced, you end up having to auto-tune it via the app, which is not a big deal because we all carry our phones. But you do that thing where you have to balance it and hold it at like a 20 degree angle while it performs its balancing act thing, which seems to take forever, especially when you're in a hurry. And then of course, if it turns out that you messed up, then you have to start the whole process over again. And that's what ended up taking so long and taking 20 minutes between each, um, each time I needed to balance the gimbal. Whereas with the Weeble S, I was able to get it on there, tweak it a little bit as far as getting this adjusted. And then you just auto tune it directly from the gimbal itself without any need of a phone app and you're good to go. And you're not, I don't really think you would necessarily go wrong with the Ronin SC. It's just that if this, because, because this holds a little bit more weight, because this has the motors designed that you can have a larger lens set up, it's just so much more flexible with the gear that you want to use with this. And it's basically the same price point. So anyway, I hope that uh, gives you a little bit of insight as to why I decided to go with the Weeble S. Let me know what you think, uh, which one you prefer, if you've operated both, uh, any thoughts, comments, or whatever. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.